and Chuck Beaton has been a participant of this service for many, many years and has recently retired. And I could not be more humbled this morning to follow in such wonderful footsteps as Chuck Beaton. I know that Reverend Beaton has been a blessing and has been a source of inspiration as he has led this service for many years. And so I'm truly humbled, sir. Let us share in the benediction this morning. Almighty God, on this Remembrance Day, we gather with hopeful hearts to honor the heroes of our past. In times of war and, conf and conflict, they held on to hope for a better future, a future that could be secure. Today, we embrace that same hope as we remember their sacrifices. We pray for each of them. May they lead and continue to lead in the hope of healing and restoration. Give us hope today in a world without violence and injustice. Inspire leaders to preserve peace with determination, diplomacy, empathy. Guide nations towards understanding, reconciliation, so that future generations may live without fear. Today, renew our hope in unity and compassion as we work to build bridges instead of walls. Help us, help us to do. Fill our hearts with hope that through remembrance, we can learn from history's tragedies and work towards a brighter future. Give us wisdom, O oh Lord, to challenge systems that perpetuate violence and equality. May your spirit of hope lead us on this journey today towards peace within ourselves, our communities, and beyond. Strengthen our reserve to actively participate in creating a world where conflict is replaced by harmony. In your name we pray today. Amen.